let me tell y'all how I just spent three hundred dollars on a coolant hose. So earlier this day, earlier this week, uh, it's like six o'clock in the morning. I turn my heat on, and I come to a stop, and the car, the heat gets cold. So I'm like, what the hell's going on? So um, I went to check my coolant, and I seen a drip, like on the passenger side next to. Like passion side, right, right here. Passion side, um, right under the uh, overflow tank. <clears throat> so, you know, it's Friday. I don't want to deal with it. it. Plus, it's cold outside. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just sending it to the dealer. They would probably fix it. Hopefully, hopefully, it wasn't a water pump again. So, um, guy calls me up. Says, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a coolant hose. Uh, <laughs> So I'm like the upper cool. You said the upper coolant hose is leaking at the T fitting, and um, luckily Ford let me keep <coughs> kept the part. So he said it leaking from right here, right where this little T fitting comes at, and I guess it must have been leaking there for a while because I didn't notice any thing in my temperature everything was fine and i guess the coolant was low enough that morning to for me to get insufficient heat so he goes to tell me yeah 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 we'll do it today you know i'm like all right you know what just do it so he says oh yeah well it's gonna be 325 <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> yo but at this point it's all right to do it. i'm like all right man whatever so this costs three twenty-five <laughs> for over the engineering again. But uh, yeah, you see, they put the new one on. Uh, that one's not gonna leak. This little hose goes into the T fit and that goes into the upper coolant hose. So hopefully that will be the last part of that, and I'm gonna have to deal with this again and. I'm not paying 325 again. Like, <laughs> if this is leaking, I'm gonna change it myself. Cause that was just that was some bullshit. But oh well, what you gonna do, right? <laughs>